Hey Jenny, you've been shopping. I have. It's this early is... spring and things are um, busting out of the garden center and I just couldn't wait to get out and get some things. Well, so. <laughs> and it's too early to really plant most of our container plants, right? Because bit, it's yeah. the end of April right now. Yeah. And... But there's a lot of things that you can put in, in the ground right now that'll tolerate almost cold temperatures like pansies are really good. Um, and then even these little daffodils are um, perfect for right now. Uh, and the Argaranthemum will hold up to cold temperatures. And Gara actually is a, um, you know, perennial. perennial. That, so the perennials yep. are fine too yep. for so pots would be too. Fine. Well, let's, so we've got a couple containers that we're thinking about putting <laughs> together today. Yep. One for the patio, for the patio, like a bigger one, mm -hmm. and then one for a table, like maybe more of a little tabletop, right. Right. sweet little container. So why don't you talk me through uh, kind of what you're thinking for this one? Okay, so, um, so I, Kind of got a few things together. So I've got a couple of Nemesias in here. Um, actually, a couple of different colors. They have really good fragrance, um, and they'll kind of cascade it down a little bit down over the side of the pot. Mm -hmm. um, I've got this little daffodil that was cute, um, and I've been known to actually dig out a few daffodils out of my garden and pop them in there, especially if I want to move them later or right. or divide them. So well, um, and they okay. usually spread, and I mean, right. so there's plenty right. to spare. So it's good to stick those in there. After they may not it. last as long, but you can just yeah. kind of reach in and pop them out, or just leave the foliage. Um, and then pansies, of course, will hold up for, for about right. anything. Nice filler. Yeah. Um, and argaranthemum will give you some height mm -hmm. and nice. a little bit of that nice daisy texture. And, and this will keep blooming pretty late into mm -hmm. the, I mean, through the summer right. really, right? Yeah. Um, if it gets really hot, they'll kind of quit for a little while. Okay. Just yeah. trim them back and then uh, once fall hits again, they'll, they'll take off again. That's great. Yeah. And then the gara, same kind of thing. Um, this has got a little pink, very hot pink bloom on it. Um, and it'll keep coming uh, all summer. Just trim it back every once in a while if it gets a little langy, lanky looking. Um, but um, it blooms the best when it's um, cool. So uh -huh. uh, spring and fall. Yeah, that's great. Yep. And uh, could you would you plant this one in the garden after? You sure can. In the fall. Yep. So I really like how you've got these different burgundy colors mm -hmm. in here that kind of echo the color of right. the container. That's really pretty. And then so. this yellow just adds some brightness. A little bright. A little yep, bit of a pop. pop. And this di this uh, Nemesia that you have over mm -hmm. here, the uh, yeah, the color probably. range on that yeah. is just so I'll pretty. It kind of bridges there. the gap between the yellows and the the burgundies. Yep. It's really pretty. So, um, and then you've got this little tabletop. Yeah, little tabletop. This is just the sweetest little planting. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. it's like a little cottage garden in a pot. Exactly. And um, these little um, little violas. Or mm. just they're they, they're not going to get really huge. They've um, got a smaller flower than the regular oh, pansies yeah. over here. Those are sweet. Um, but I'll probably pack them all in all together, almost as a unit, as opposed to spreading them all oh, out. It's okay. a little four pack, but I'll just mm -hmm. keep them fairly congested yeah, so that they can. look um, nice and full. And this Louisia, um, it gets this little um, little bright pink cluster of flowers. I just snip it back every once in a while. The flower will go brown, and and it just sort of give it a little bend and a twist and mm -hmm. it um, pops off. Just um, right at the base? Yep, right at the base. And they but just keep coming? Yep, it'll There's keep coming all, all summer. Nice. Yep, um, keep it out of the full sun in when it gets hot, but uh -huh. um, otherwise. And then uh, the English daisy will probably um, peter out after a little while, you know, when it gets really, really hot. Really does better yeah. early in the year. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And That's same really with your kale. Sweet. These are really yeah. um, some very nice kale that we managed to find so yeah um, I'm liking that it's really fun and that this starts pink to get cotton bolts um, well then we just um, take that apart and we um, get it ready for summer and then to fill in yep. oh so yeah it just <laughs> smells like honey I love sweet alyssum it's just so so pretty and this will mm -hmm. just go forever right right yeah. and you could pull all the you know the uh, cold season type things out of here and uh -huh. leave those alyssum in and pop the little um, nice little Whatever. petunia or something caliber co in. Put Just to let it mix later on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this yep. is great. Well, so what do you think? Should we get started planting? We'll get started planting. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Uh, do you want to do that one for me, Kristen? Sure, absolutely. Okay, then I'll get on, I'll work on the big one. Here. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm really liking the way these have come together. Yeah, this is yeah, really got pretty. Them all done, and this so is pretty, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and water. Up. And I'm going to add a little bit of height to this because this is a pretty good um, size container. But um, I picked some of these this morning. Um, when you're doing your regular pruning, like a red, red, twig, red twig dogwood like this, yeah. um, just keep those pieces and, 
and add them to something like this. This is funny. It add, or this is really pretty. It adds a lot of. It adds some interesting height there, yeah, and I like the way <laughs> that it uh, echoes the. Uh, there it is. It echoes the color of the um, container. Right. It's pretty. And so we'll just kind of work some of these in. Yeah, it just balances mm -hmm. the height of the container yeah. out a little bit. Adds it, a little more drama. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if there's a little curve to it. That actually is <laughs> sweet. A deal. A good deal. Very nice. Will they take root, do you think? Potentially. <laughs> <laughs> I've done curly willow before and pussy uh -huh. willow that actually will root in the container. Yeah. Um, so all of a sudden you're like, oh, I've got a new tree. <laughs> <laughs> and I tend to like to do it kind of one-sided maybe, but you could do it right smack in the center if you wanted to. But I like to kind of give it. I like that. Um, I hadn't thought about clustering them all together like yeah, that, but I, right. I do like that. You know, it's so almost like another plant. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, you know, That's but pretty. you could do it straight in the middle and have it kind of cascade out, yeah. or or um, just even a really straight line of um, uh, line mm -hmm. lines, so that it kind of gives it a little different yeah. different look. More That's formal. That's pretty. <laughs> well, it looks like there's so. a lot more plants here to work with, so we can do some more containers. Yeah, we'll maybe. Get more. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> All right, thanks. You bet. Thanks for coming. Thank mm -hmm. you.